Hello, Patrick Walchuk here with an update on the Ottawa real estate multi-unit investment market to the end of May 2022, and we'll be comparing that to the first five months of last year. And again, if, if you enjoy getting these videos, click on the subscribe button and hit the notification bell, and we'll send this out to you every 30 days. So as usual, we're going to break this down into what's going on in the world of buildings that have two to four units in them. So sales this year, 71 compared to 79 last year. So that's a decrease of about 10%. The average price is down a little bit as well at uh, minus 4.5. However, prices aren't really down. Um, at least anecdotally, I, I can tell you that representing my clients, we're sometimes winning, sometimes losing uh, in multiple offers in almost everything that we do. Uh, so this is more of a reflection of the price point of some houses that sold last year versus the price point this year still a tremendously strong market in terms of how long it's taking to sell the cumulative days on market they're selling in an average of 45 days compared to 42 so about the same as last year so now let's take a look at the buildings that are a little bit larger and again this for the first five months of the year <clears throat> we've had buildings with five or more units 13 of them sell compared to 12 last year okay so one more the average price it's just skewed, again, because of the value of some of the buildings that sold. Uh, prices <clears throat> aren't up 44%. They're, they're very strong, but these numbers are, are what they are. It is taking longer at 86 days, but the one thing I want to point out is that um, if you forget about the price thing for a moment, the, the number of sales, typically in Ottawa, you know, we'll, we'll have 22 to 25, 26 of these larger buildings sell on the MLS system. So we're kind of right on track for that at, at 13 uh, through the first five months of the year.